Zach. I'm Beardy. I'm Sarah Bella. We're going to be talking about trials and if they're good or bad. It's a hotly debated subject going on now. Many people think they are hurtful and make children feel bad about themselves and have low self-esteem. Other, others believe that they are great and teach children great lessons for later in life. We stand on the side that trials are beneficial and are good for kids. We believe this because there are ways to reduce the stress of trials and improve your performance, teach kids to deal with life's disappointments, and make children work harder towards their goals. Our first reason that tryouts should be held in school is that there are ways to release from the stress of it. Studies have so shown that when someone is in a stressful situation, their muscles tense up and they do not perform as well. But if you find some way to relieve that stress, your overall performance during tryouts may improve. Some kids just sit there worrying and worrying all throughout tryouts, and they do awfully and inevitably do not make the team. According to TeamTalk.org, young performers such as Olympic, gym Olympic gymnasts and music soloists talk about how important it is to prepare for the pre-performance jitters as well as the performance itself. Some take along a photo album of favorite pictures, compile a playlist of the music players to help them relax, or learn yoga and breathing techniques to help them feel calm. This shows that even the best Olympic athletes have to find ways to relax before game or tryout, which means it no it's normal and there are ways to deal with it. In addition to telling yourself to calm down and bring a photo album, another way to try to relieve tryout stress is to practice controlled breathing, meditation, biofeedback, and other stra strategies to help you relax and redirect your thoughts when they turn negative. It is best to practice some type of relaxation technique every day, regardless of whether you have a performance, so that the skill is there for you when you need it. This is suggested by WebMD.com, and it shows that telling yourself to calm down will literally calm you down and make your muscles more relaxed, therefore improving your performance. It also shows that if you bid your mind to negative thoughts, it, it clears your head and makes you more focused, more relaxed, therefore, once again, therefore, once again, improving your performance and giving you a more likely chance to make the team, leaving you not disappointed and now on a sports team. So there are many ways to calm yourself before tryouts and improve your performance. Our second reason that we believe that tryouts are good is that they can help children deal with life struggles and disappointments. If an athlete doesn't make a team, they might understand that these kinds of things happen a lot in life. For example, in the article Cut from the Team by Keith Wilson, he says, when the parent and child can express their pain and create a positive response, then the child is taking one step forward in learning how to deal with life's disappointments. Anyone who tries out for the te sports team must realize there is a possibility that he or she is not going to make the team. And if he thinks that he's always going to make it, he'll feel let down in adulthood if he doesn't make a music or, or even a job. When an athlete gets cut, he or she feels left out or disappointed. Burke D. Lynch, author of Getting Cut from a Sports Team, says that when children are cut, exposes them to the disappointments all of us experience in adulthood. If athletes don't realize this, it happens all the time, then they won't understand the difficulties in life. Even if he or she doesn't make the sports team the first time, they can try to guess next season or simply play on a different sport or on a walk-on team. No one would understand the difficulties and hardships of life if they didn't get cut a few times. Our third reason trials should be allowed in schools is because there are ways to get over being cut besides selfing in a pillow. Joe Scally, PCA trainer, says that from a coach's point of view, one thing he does is tells tell players that being cut is not a judgment of them as people, but rather an assessment of their fit with the team based on a brief snapshot, sneak, brief snapshot during the tryouts. Offer a reminder that the picture can and probably will change. Kids' bodies and minds grow and change. Skills can improve through hard work. This shows that coaches actually do care, not that they are worthless people who do not care about innocent kids' feelings. And it also shows a way to reassure oneself if ever get cut from a team or it doesn't have to come from a coach. Go Joe Skelly shared a story saying, when I was in high school, two of my friends were among the last players cut from the freshman football team. One of them tried out the next year, barely made the team, and went on to play college and professional football. The other switched to wrestling, competed in that for four years, and now is a successful businessman. There are tens of thousands of similar stories. We encourage kids, give them the room to find their purpose, and they will not only survive being cut, but will learn life lessons that will help them flourish. And it shows that even for those who are cut, there are other areas where my fortune and those cut might not have, have even tried out for that sport or signed up for that club. In addition, one way one might survive being cut is suggested by the website competitiveedge.com. 
that is to view getting caught as temporary, just this, kind, just this kind of thing, not a permanent every time one. What I'm saying here is that you do not want to use your failures as a yardstick to measure how worthless or inadequate you may think you are as an athlete or individual. Getting caught may, may leave you feeling worthless and inadequate. However, your feelings should be viewed for what they are. Not, they're not facts. They're just emotions, and they are directly related to this situation, this situation only. It shows that getting cut doesn't mean those who get cut are bad athletes. It also shows that feeling sad and saying, I suck, I quit, I'm not playing anymore, etc. is a bit ridiculous, as crowds are only a little snapshot of a player's ability. And there are always other options than just being manager or playing on an intramural team. There are, all, there are always solutions to whatever problem you might have, whether it be easy to solve or more difficult. So even though there are always those students who do not make the team, getting cut may, may benefit them. Some may think that trials may make kids feel bad, but most of the time it makes kids more determined to make the team next time. Young athletes must get past the feeling of being rejected and, re and realize just because they didn't make it doesn't mean they're horrible and can't win the sport. They just need more practice and aren't ready for that team. But they just need to keep trying to practice. Our first reason that we think that middle school tryouts are good because they teach kids to work hard so they can overcome obstacles and challenges. Rick D. Lange, the author of Getting Cuts from a Sports Team, says, it is true that it's important for kids to learn the value of overcoming obstacles with hard work. She shows that it's hard to make a team and no one wants to be the kid that doesn't make it. But that just makes them want to work harder to make it in the time. In a way, it also teaches kids to never give up, which is an important life lesson that they should know for adulthood. Keith Wilson, another author, who wrote Cut from the Team, pointed out that some children, however, will be being cut as a reason to challenge themselves to work harder to get better at their sport. It shows that even after being cut from the team, kids will want to work harder to make it next time. So they'll practice, maybe try out for a different team, and try again next season. So as it's shown, school trials do teach kids to be determined and are very helpful for young students. School trials have many benefits and also some parts that can be hurtful, but the benefits definitely outweigh all the risks. In summary, we think school trials are good because there are ways to deal with the stress, teaches kids to deal with life's disappointments, there are ways to get over being cut, and it helps kids work to achieve for goal. So in all, even though some people believe that school trials for kids are bad, it was proven that school trials are very good for children.